English. You speak how much? You feel like you're an American. Don't tell me. Let me guess. Your father. Your father think he's sending you here so you get your MBA. Then you come back and cover the world with trinkets and beads. Diversify. Franchise. Sell a Hong Kong x-ray glasses at tourist shop at Buckingham Palace. You know, uh, see the queen? He's hoping your American education is going to help him create an empire of defective goods and breakable merchandise. You know those little cameras with the sliders inside? I bought one at Disneyland once and it had pictures of Hong Kong in it. Do you know how shitty it is to expect the Magic Kingdom and wind up with the skyline of Kowloon? Part of your dad's plan, I'm sure. But you're going to double cross him. Coming to America, you're going to jump the boat. Yeah, you're going to decide you like us. You're going to like having 15 theaters in three blocks. You're going to like West Hollywood and Newport Beach. Yeah, don't deny it. It happens to the best of us. You can't hold out. You're no different. You won't even realize it's coming before it has you. Before you're trying real hard to be just like the rest of us. Go dinner, go movie, go motel, bang, bang. And when your dad writes you that do-it-yourself acupuncture sales have gone down, you take that letter, throw it in the bin and burn it in your brain. Then you'll write back to him that you're going to live in Monterey Park for a few years before coming back and you get your green card. We'll build up a nice little stockbroker's business and have a few American kids before your dad realizes what's happened and dies. His hopes and dreams reduced to a few chattering teeth and a pack of pornographic playing cards. <laughs> yeah, great things come to the US and to Hong Kong.